I, I failed an exam, which is called the 11 plus, but then ran it again the following year. So I ended up at grammar school. And I suppose I, suppose I would have ended up teaching, uh, but I got caught up in uh, the convulsion that became a conflict. Uh, in 1964, Ian Paisley, who now leads the power sharing arrangements, uh, threatened during an election to come on to the Falls Road and to take down a national flag, the Irish tricolour. And the RUC, when they received this threat, obliged him and went and took it down. And of course it was then a matter of honour, I suppose, for the people to put it back up again. So there, there was another sally into the area and it was taken down again. I was going to school and we passed the site where the flag was flown, which was an election office. And uh, th this was very exciting for us. We were going back and forth to school and there were a huge amount of armed uh, police officers, armoured cars. There was street violence for a few days. And that sort of whetted my appetite. I started to read in, in more, a more political way. I started to try to figure out where things were at. 1966 was the 50th anniversary of the 1916 Rising. And that was marked with pageants and with dramatic presentations, with republications of the writings of the leaders of Podrick Pierce and Connolly and others with uh, poetry and just a, just a big celebration of this land sh or watershed event in, in Irish history. So I started to get a context then when I started to read. Uh, I became an Irish Republican as I started to read all of this. And then I, started, I, I joined Sinn Féin. Uh, I dropped out of school. I became a founder member of the Civil Rights Association. And uh, there you have it. Mm -hmm.